Welcome folks, this is Wayne here, yet another outdoor and gear review channel. Today I want to show you one of these budget brands from Amazon that kind of look promising, kind of look inspired by bigger brands, but you're not sure whether you should get it or not. I have a SDOK EDC knife. It's slightly modified, uh, added an ulti clip instead of the tack lock that they had, which is kind of bulky. But this is a compact fixed blade. I wanted to, it to be as compact and low profile as possible. I wrapped the beautiful blazing orange handle. The steel is DC53, which is an upgraded D2 steel. It's better than a D2 steel, at least what I can tell from the internet, from the steel reviews. It has absolutely beautiful blade. I wear large gloves. And this is how this thing fits into my hand. Like when you look online, you might not be sure whether this is a smaller knife, too small for large hands, but it definitely fits nicely. It has a very nice girth. The weight is about 200 grams, I would say. So it's definitely not as light as a Mora or something like that. It's about a 10 centimeters long blade, nice pronounced belly. It's gonna be excellent for food prep. It has a, a flat, flat grind very high here and it's not too thick I would see three and a half millimeters perhaps so definitely it can deal with some stress maybe some light batoning but it definitely will excel in the cutting department at least it should it comes hair popping actually more like a razor sharp out of the box the kydex work on this is absolutely beautiful we have this thumb ramp the fit and the finish of this Kydex work is amazing, just like the fit and the finish on the knife itself. So you get this for under 40 bucks on Amazon, and the name is SDOK EDC. So this is the brand name. Uh, without the wrap, there are some holes in the in the handle, as you see in the picture. Uh, those add to the grip, look cool, but I like it with this. Uh, added grip tape actually it's more like a bandage that i've added it's just like now nah, it's very cold it's cold and wet uh, up higher in the hills there's already snow it's just comfortable to have something like that on the knife the handle itself is like a hard maybe glass fiber reinforced nylon handle you know it's a little bit it could deal with a little bit more structure perhaps um, thanks to the overall design the handle is comfortable and safe, but the material, the plastic material itself could be a little bit slippery. But this is an easy fix and I think it looks fairly cool. Well, let's hit on that knife a little bit. Let's cut a little bit. Mushroom cut test. That's how nice and sharp it is out of the box. Let's beat on it a little bit and then see how sh sharp it still is after the abuse. It's not a chopper per se. It's definitely more of a camp knife, but I just want to bring some stress on the blade. That's okay. We can see whether the steel is any good. If it's, if there is, is at least a possibility that it is real DC 53. Because if it's something cheap, a totally cheap 420 or so, then it should lose some sharpness. So can it do shavings? So this is super hard dead wood and you can tell a lot about the ergonomics of a knife when you push into that type of wood. So this is really pretty hard wood and we see it can do nice shavings. I mean different type of wood it would be even nicer but this is okay. 
I wouldn't have expected anything else from the blade geometry. It's definitely a slicer and cutter. Uh, striking a fire steel, it's going to be possible here at the chimpings at least. It's not super rounded off. I mean, you can strike a fire steel, but there are definitely better ways to strike a fire steel than with this knife. So let's still check out some basic tip strength. So this tip definitely lends itself to drill holes or something like that. This wood is not terribly soft, not terribly hard. It's kind of dry dead wood. As you can see. So the uh, tip is completely intact. Just as expected. But if it was really like cheap, cheap of steel, you could probably tell something by now. So, after that little bit of abuse, let's see if the knife still gives me a neat and clean cut of one of those mushrooms. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Definitely still works nicely for the camp kitchen, right? Although I wouldn't be sure to eat this mushroom, I'm not a fan of mushrooms anyways. So, yeah, yeah, it still cuts beautifully. So the SDOK EDC, that is a very nice compact fixed blade that for under 40 bucks, I would definitely uh, suggest to check out. So if you like to carry light knives, compact knives that are well made, this is definitely a great option. I love the blazing orange handle, although it's wrapped. It is, of course, not a survival knife. As we said, a finer tip and everything, but definitely a great camp knife, a great knife for hiking. Uh, yeah, superb. I like it. And I definitely check out more of their knives. Uh, the steel performed perfectly but it was not extra hard abuse but it was enough abuse if it was indeed one of those cheap steels and you could tell maybe it would roll over or something like that but that didn't happen so I'm fairly confident that this is actually DZ53 steel. This is wear and tear over and out.